Hello, everyone. Hello. Can you listen to me? I can. Can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, listen. Yes. Eh, vamos a hacer algo. Okay, we'll do something. Okay, uh, hold on a second. Solo dame un segundito por aquí. Solo un poquito más de volumen. ¿Me escuchan? Can you listen to me? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes. Vaya, ahorita. Yes. Hello. Yes. Vaya. Estoy observando que cuando me da problemas, eh, el Zoom es cuando hago los equipos de trabajo. Ok. Porque precisamente el día viernes cuando me da, estuve dando problemas fue cuando hacía los equipos de trabajo. Cuando quería entrar a otro equipo, eh, me daba problema. ¿Ok? De ahí mientras estamos aquí todos, en general no me da ningún problema. Entonces esta sesión, mañana voy a hacer la consulta y esta sesión la vamos a trabajar sin equipos de trabajo para que no haya inconvenientes. ¿Ok? A mí me gusta hacer el, el, lo de equipos de trabajo porque a veces es más interactivo, a veces ustedes interactúan con otros compañeros pero debido a la situación lo vamos a hacer así, o si no nos vamos a quedar hasta bien tarde otra vez y mañana voy a hacer la consulta si es que hay algún problema con equipos de trabajo en suma ahorita, ¿ok? Si hay algún inconveniente, ¿ok? Perdón, sería el, el, el miércoles. miércoles. Porque mañana no hay clase, we have no clases tomorrow, ¿de acuerdo? Así que vamos a estar trabajando solo en la sesión principal, only on the main session, ¿ok? Vamos a tratar de hacerlo interactivo, pero solo aquí en la sesión principal, only on the main session, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Ya? Yeah? Sí. All right, porque no quiero, que se vayan, no quiero que se vayan a dormir a las diez y media otra vez, ¿ok? I don't want that. No quiero eso, sinceramente, ¿ok? I don't want that. Ok, so uh, then uh, I imagine uh, you practice the questions and you took notes about the answers, right? Creo que tomaron nota de las respuestas. Did you take notes about the answers? Yes? Yes. Yes, right. Ok, perfect. Ok, let's see. Um, let's see... For question number one, okay, for question number one. Well, basically all the questions are kind of the same, right? Okay, so, but let's see. Uh, Carlos, uh, who was your partner? Con quien practicó? Who was your partner, Carlos? Uh, with Lucy. With Lucy, all right? Uh, what questions did you ask Lucy? Dos preguntas que le hizo Lucy. Two questions you asked Lucy. Uh, uh, was, can you check email for me? All right, and the other question? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, she said sure. Okay, very good. Okay. And Number the second two, question? Would you to wash the dishes? All right, what did she say? <laughs> no, I can't. No, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> All right, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, just one observation. Is it correct to say, could you to wash or could you watch? What is correct? Could you to watch or could you watch? Because could you said, you could you watch? Exactly. You okay. Watch. You don't say, could you to watch? All right. Could you watch? All right. Yeah. Could you watch or can you watch? Right. El tú no lo usamos antes del verbo principal aquí. Okay. Right, Carlos? We, without two. Without two. You only say, could you watch or can you watch? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, well, let's listen to um, Hector. Two questions you ask your classmate. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hola, hola. We listen to you. We listen to you. Okay. Majo, Majo, uh, what's my parent? Okay. Okay. Majo, could you make the pay for the constructor? Sure, no problem. Thank you. One more question. One more question. Can you drive for me tomorrow? No, I cannot. Sorry. You can say me, maybe sorry, I can't. Okay, sorry, I can't. Sorry, I can't. All right. Teacher. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's possible to say cannot for the pronunciation. It's difficult for, for me to say can. Yeah. I don't in know. sentences, you can say cannot, but in answers, you say can't. For example, can. I cannot. I cannot do it. It's possible to say, I cannot do it. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all Thank right. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now let's listen to um, Elsie. Who was your classmate, Elsie? Um, Daniel. Okay, uh, is Daniel here? 
Yes, Ryan. Okay, ask, ask Daniel two questions, please. Okay. Uh, Elsie, ask. Question. No, Elsie, ask. Uh, your your uh, question? Yes, you your ask. Question? You ask. Ah, okay. Okay, Daniel. Uh, can you call me tomorrow? Yes, of course. Uh, um, could you help me in my job? Yes, sure. All right, excellent. Daniel, can you ask uh, Elsie two questions, please? Ah, okay. Could you close the door? Of course. Could you help me with this drawing? Uh, repeat, please. Could help me with this drawing? <laughs> Sorry, I I can't. Okay, thank you. That's perfect. Thank you, Elsie and Daniel. Now let's listen to Wendy and 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 and. and. <laughs> Teacher, nosotras nos estuvo fallando la aplicación y este cómo se llama no le escuchaba mucho a la compañera. Ah, oh, all right, no problem, it's okay. Santos, who was your partner? Cristina. Okay, Cristina, are you ready? Yes. Yes, okay, ask Cristina two questions, please, Santos. Okay. Santos, can you sleep right now? Yes. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> what a request. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Uh, could you help me in the party? Yes, yes, I, I call. No, for me, no problem. Okay, now Santos, now you ask Christina two questions, please. Okay. Christina, Christina. Uh, can you write the report for next week? Uh, repeat, please. Can you uh, write the report for next week? Ah, uh, yes, no problem. Okay, that's okay. excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Or oh, you, you have another. Okay, sorry. Yes. <laughs> or you work tomorrow on Mother Day? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no problem. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you serious, Santos? <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you santos and christina okay, okay thank okay, you very sure. much good now let's listen to one more pair uh let's listen to carla maria who is your partner carla maria irma teacher, all right teacher. yes mom eh, me voy a ausentar unos siete minutos me tengo un inconveniente por please Ah, uh, sí, deja... Pero el... siempre voy a, voy a estar activa, solo que voy a apagar okay. la cámara. Nada sí, eso más. le iba a decir. Ok. All right. So, let's see. Uh, Carla María, sorry, who is your partner? Irma. All right. Irma, are you ready? Ok. Yes. Ok. ¿Quién pregunta? Okay. Who asks first? Carla. Um, uh -huh. All right. And Irma, can you attend this meeting for me? Sure. Ok. And could you give me some more coffee? Immediately. Now you ask, Irma. Now you ask two questions. Um, can you display the blender, please? Yes, I can. Um, can you pack the microwave the chip, please? Immediately. 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 All right. Immediately. Can you check the report today? Sure. All right. Three yeah. questions. Okay, that's enough. Okay, thank you, Carla, Maria, and Irma. Thank you very much. That's very good. Okay, thank you, everybody. I know everybody practiced, right? But not everybody has the chance to participate because we need to uh, advance. We need to carry on. Okay, so let's go to the next activity. 
just to continue uh, with the practice uh, of questions using can and could, in this moment, I want you to write three questions, okay? On your notebook, write three questions using can or using could that you normally use in your work. Three questions you normally use in your work, all right? For example, in my case, I normally, I normally say, um, can you open your notebook? Can you open your notebook? I also say, um, can you uh, bring me a coffee? Okay, can you bring me a coffee? And I often say, can you erase the board? Or can you turn on the computer? Can you turn on the computer? Those are requests I make in my workplace. Esas son solicitudes que yo hago en mi trabajo, okay? So in your case, write three requests you make in your workplace, okay? Please, go ahead. Write three requests you make in your workplace. Be specific, please. Son las solicitudes que ustedes usan en su trabajo. Requests you use in your workplace, okay? Can you or could you? Only three, okay?
Are you ready? Only three questions, right? Only three requests. Only three requests. You ready? Yes, no? Please, uh, if you are ready, go to reactions and raise your hands. Si está listo, vayan a reacciones y levantan la mano. Just to, to see the people who have finished, okay? In case you finish, go to reactions and raise your hands, please. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let me see, Elsie, Hector, Daniel, Beatriz, Carla, and Carlos, and Cristina. Okay, let's give one more minute. Un minuto más, one more minute. Let's give one more minute to finish. Ahí tienen la opción, levantar mano, ¿verdad? Levantar la mano. No es la manito así. No, es levantar la mano aparece la opción. Is raise, raise hands is the option. Okay, uh, very good. Uh, so I said one minute, right? I gave you a little bit more. Okay, let's listen to uh, to some people who didn't participate in the previous activity, all right? In the previous activity, let's see, um, let me see who didn't participate. Well, Ulysses didn't participate in the previous activity, all right? Ulysses, can you share uh, two requests, at least, two requests you have? Okay, teacher. The first is, can you can you buy a truck? And the next, could you pay the export records? All right, that's excellent. Could you pay the export records? Okay, that's excellent. Only two, only two, Lisa. It's okay. Thank you. That's perfect. Johnny, can you share two requests, please? Yes. Uh, the first, can you help me with this uh, credit account? Uh, yes, can I help you? Uh, second question, could you answer the phone? Yes, I do it for you. All right, that's excellent. Thank you, Johnny. Okay, uh, just for Johnny and for everybody, okay? Uh, when we answer these questions, we don't say yes normally, right? We say, of course. For example, we, we can answer, of course, Sure, no problem, immediately, right away, all right? Because it's kind of weird to say, yes, I can. Okay, es más o menos raro contestar, yes, I can, a esas preguntas, right? So you say, of course, immediately, right away, no problem, all right? You can, you can say, or sure, you can say that, okay? Thank you, Johnny, that's pretty good. Thank you very much. Uh, let's listen to Rafa. Rafa didn't participate in the previous activity. Hey teacher, how are you? Very good, thank you. Wow. I can you help me wash the cars? All yes, right. of course. Can you help me go to fill the cars with gas? Yes, okay. Can you help me to the winner win winery to bring water? Yes. All right. You can say maybe of course. Uh, yes, okay, no, maybe you can say, it's okay. You're actually okay, it's okay in the answer, okay? Thank you, Rafa, thank you very much. Uh, remember, you don't say, can you too, right? Can you to go, no, okay, can you go, all right? The two, you don't use it here, okay? 
Just remember that. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now let's listen to Carla Raquel. She didn't participate in the previous activity. Carla Raquel, are you ready? Hi, teachers. Yes. Yes, All right. teacher. Could you please not running? Can you repeat? <laughs> Could you please not running? Not go running. All right. Could you please turn off my computer? Turn off. Okay, turn off. Could you please turn off my computer? All right. Okay. Repeat it, please. Could you please turn off? Turn off. No, turn. Turn then. off. Turn, turn off. off. Apagar. Yeah. Turn off my computer. Turn off my computer. Okay. Yes, that's right. Y la última. Este, could you please heal me to fix my machine? All right, that, that, that's okay, perfect. Okay, uh, and now, now listen, what Carla is uh, using is very interesting because she's using please, right? Okay, can you please or could you please? That's okay, all right? And that makes it even more polite. Y eso incluso lo hace más, de forma más educada todavía cuando uso el please, all right? And that's perfect, okay? Very good, thank you very much, Carla Raquel. Let's listen to the last participation. Mauricio, are you ready? No. No, you're not ready. Okay, let's see. Ellen, Ellen Nielsen is just getting connected, I think, right? Are you ready, Ellen Nielsen? Hello, teacher. Uh, you're just getting connected, right? Yeah, I just. Okay. All, right, all right, no problem, it's okay. Okay, well, the rest, I think everybody participated in the previous activity. Okay, thank you very much for your uh, participation. Now let's go uh, to today's content. L look, in today's content, uh, we will study, okay, let me share with you. Uh, we will, we will um, study a little bit about, uh, to give and ask opinions, okay? To give and ask opinions about customers, satisfaction of a product, okay? That will be the central idea for today. So here we have a discussion question. So some of these two discussion questions, sorry. Question number one is, how was the last experience of a customer's purchase in your company, right? In your workplace. How was the last experience of a customer's purchase? ¿Cómo fue la última experiencia de la compra de un cliente? Satisfying or dissatisfying? Why? Okay, I don't work in a company and I don't work on sales, right? But if you ask me, maybe, uh, just to give you one example, how was the last experience of a customer's purchase? I say, oh, it was satisfying. It was satisfying. Why? Ah, because the customer was happy with the product and the customer um, took the product to his house, for example, okay? Yeah, satisfying. But maybe you can say it's satisfying. Why? Ah, because uh, the product was in a bad condition and the customer uh, rec reclaimed, okay, about the product. I don't know, okay, yeah. So, piensen en la última compra de un cliente, satisfying or dissatisfying, and you explain why, All right? So, write uh, the questions and the answers, okay? I'll give you around five or seven minutes to answer. Hay que pensar, teacher, hay que pensar en la última compra de un cliente. Exactly. The last purchase of a client. Okay. Everybody sells products here, right? Todo, todos trabajan en compañías que venden productos. Does everybody work in companies that sell products or services or services? Services, sure. Yes. Sorry, Hector. Yes, right. Hey. I, I work in a company work with a service. With? Service, services. Ah, you sell services. Okay, you do it about a service, not about a product. Okay. Okay.
Okay, I'll give you one more minute uh, to finish uh, the answers, okay? One more minute to finish the answers and then we share. Finish. Well, if you are on the manual, uh, these questions are on page number 23, okay? If you have the photocopy of the manual, these questions are on page 23.
Okay, I think you're ready, right? Aren't you? Really? Are you ready? Yes, you are ready. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, so uh, let's do something, okay? I guess everybody has the questions, right? So I will start. I will start and I will select uh, one person to ask the questions, okay? And that person then will select another person to ask the questions, okay? Yeah, all right, so let me start. So I start selecting one, I ask the questions, that person answers and that, that person continues asking and answering the questions to another uh, participant, okay? Okay, I will choose first. Okay, let me see, I will choose, um, let me see here, I will choose Wendy. Okay, Wendy, um, how was the last experience of a customer's purchase? Uh, watcher. Well, first, satisfying or dissatisfying? Satisfying. Satisfying, you say satisfying, satisfying. Satisfying, satisfying. Why? Satisfying, why? Okay. Why? Why, por qué, why? Um, Como no sé cómo se dice. No sé cómo se diría así como eh, que el cliente lo solicitó. Uh, the client asked for it. Uh -huh. the, 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 the client asked for it. Uh -huh. Ok. Okay, very good. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you very much. Wendy, select another participant and ask the questions, please. Elige alguien más y preguntas. Mm. Elenilson. All right. So ask Elenilson the questions in this moment. Okay. Uh, how was the last week experience of a customer? Purchase. It was satisfied. Uh, uh, sería or the city why? It was satisfied, Wendy. Okay. Because with them on with I'm sorry, because we give them an excellent service. In fact, they told us that they want to come back. Okay. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, well, the, the, the pronunciation of, the, of these two words is satisfying, satisfying, and dissatisfying, right? Satisfying and dissatisfying, all right? Just for you okay. to listen to that. Satisfying, dissatisfying, all right? Uh, now, Elenilson, select someone and ask the questions, please. Okay, I choose or the chosen is Rachel. Okay, ask Rachel the questions. Rachel, are you ready? Raquel, are you ready? I think she isn't ready. Uh, Elenison, select another participant, please. Okay, okay let's see. The new chosen is Ulises. All right, ask Ulises. Okay, Ulises. How was the last experience of a customer's purchase? Satisfying or dissatisfying and why? Was satisfying because the client asked for discounts for Bujin and they said very hungry that he will not buy or products. Excellent, that's amazing. Thank you. All right, uh, let's see. Thank you, Ellen Nielsen. Now, Lisa, now you select another participant and ask the questions, please. Okay. Um... In... Carla Maria. All right, ask Carla Maria. Okay, Carla. Okay. okay. Who was the last experience of a customer purchase and why? 
is dissatisfying because the project completion date has not been met. 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 In this case, yeah. Okay. Has, has not been met. Had not been met. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Carla Maria and Ulises. Now, Carla Maria, now you select another uh, participant and ask the questions. And Hector Francisco. All right. Ask Hector. Hector, how was the last experience of the customer purchase? Satisfying or dissatisfying? Why? Carla, it was satisfying because we are solving fast the question, the question. Okay, that's excellent. That's very good. Thank you, Hector and Carla. Thank you very much. That was really good. Now let's see Hector. Select another participant, please. Rafael, how was the last experience of a customer's purchase? Uh, satisfying or dissatisfying? Why? Our client is happy with our services for honesty and punctuality. In satisfying the client left, usual freeze due to uh, the segment, the segment which my boss. All right. Can you repeat the last part a little bit slower, please? The second. Yeah. Satisfying, and then you said something else. Continue. Uh, I want to listen to you because I didn't get it. No, no, lo comprendí muy bien la última parte. I didn't understand the last part very well. The client left. Unjustified. Unsatisfied due to the disagreement the with my boss. Oh, was dissatisfied due to the to the disagreement with your boss? Yeah. Ah, yeah. I, I, I got it. All right. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so he was uh dissatisfied then. Okay, thank okay. you, Rafa. Thank you. Now let's see. Um Rafa, select a girl, please, and ask. Or a boy. Christina. Okay, Christina, Christina. Ask Christina. Ask Christina the questions. Christina, how was the last experience of a customer purchase satisfying or is the the satisfying wage? Satisfies. Uh, your product is excellent. Satisfying because the product was excellent. I, ju just, I just want to clarify something here, okay? Satisfied and satisfying are different, okay? Satisfied and satisfying are different, okay? Satisfied is that you are satisfied or the client was satisfying, was uh, satisfied, sorry. And when you say satisfying, it's not about the client, it's about the, 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 the product, right? So. The, the product was satisfying for the client, okay? Or the purchase was satisfying for the client. It's about the purchase, not about the client, okay? Good. Uh, so let's continue then. Uh, and let's listen to the last one, okay? The last one. Uh, who did you ask, Rafa? A Cristina le, le preguntó, ¿verdad, Rafael? You asked Cristina, right? Yes, teacher. Yes, Cristina, select the last participant, please, for this activity. And you ask the questions. Um, um, Johnny, creo que no participado. Yes, he has participated, but it's okay. You can ask Johnny. Okay. Johnny, how, how satisfied are you with the online at the van? Can you repeat, please? How satisfied are you with the online at the online? At the bank. Sorry, so, sorry, sorry, sorry for the inter sorry for the interruption, Christina. Uh, you have to ask the question that you answer. Okay, so the question is, how was the last experience of a customer's purchase? Las preguntas que yo les puse ahí. Okay, the questions I display. Okay. Esas son las que le va a preguntar a Yoni. Do you have okay. them? Las tiene ahí? Do you have the questions? Yes. yes. Voy a cambiarla. Bye. Write your opinion. Op 
opinion about the service of this month? No, sorry, Christina. So you have to ask these questions, okay? Estas son las preguntas que le va a hacer a Johnny. These are the questions you will ask Johnny, okay? Okay. How was the last experience of a customer purse, purse satisfied or dissatisfied wife? It was satisfying. Why? Uh, because it was the service he expected. Fast and clear things. Okay, that's good. So it was the service the client expected. Okay, fast and? And clear things. And clear, and clear things. Okay, that's pretty good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Johnny and Christina. And thank you everybody for your um, participation. Okay. So um, I will pass the attendance quickly. So please uh, be paying attention and say here or I'm here or present. Okay. In English, not in Spanish. Present, here, or I'm here. Okay. Not presente. No, no, in English. Okay. Let's start. Carlos. Present. Very good. That's what I want. Claudia is not here. Christina. Present. Very good. Doris. Present. All right. Daniel. Present. Ellen Nielsen. Present, teacher. Elsie? Present. All right. Hazel? She was connected, right? I don't know what happened to her. Hector? Present, teacher. Irma? I hear. All right. Javier? Javier didn't get connected today, right? Uh, Johnny? Present. Mauricio? Present. Okay. Lucy? Present. Maria Jose? Present teacher. Rafa? Present teacher. Santos? I am here teacher. Ulises? Present teacher. Wendy? I am here teacher. Jessica? Carla Maria? Present. In Carla Raquel. To the order, teacher. Sorry? <laughs> Present. To the orders. Oh my, I like that. <laughs> All right. Very good. Uh, excellent. Okay, thank you very much. Good. Now let's continue uh, with the next activity. And in the next activity, we have a survey. Survey. What is survey? Survey. Encuesta. Encuesta. So in the next activity, we have a survey. Okay, let me show you. The survey is on page number 23. All right. The survey is on page number 23. Here we have it. Okay. So please, I will give you around five minutes. Le daré alrededor de cinco minutos. Around five minutes. Read the survey and check all new vocabulary. Okay. Lean la encuesta y revisen el nuevo vocabulario. Pueden usar diccionario si quieren. You can use a dictionary. Or you can use a virtual dictionary if you want. Okay. So check the uh, the survey and check the new vocabulary. Okay. And you can check the new vocabulary in the dictionary. You can use word reference. Pueden usar el diccionario de word reference. Word reference. Okay. Se lo voy a mandar ahí al grupo de WhatsApp. A link. I will send you the link to the WhatsApp group. Okay, I just send the link to the WhatsApp group. I let him be in the dictionary or group of the WhatsApp. I just send the link.
All right, let's see. Um, let's see. Well, this is uh, a survey about a customer's experience with a product, with a product, right? Okay. Um, so just before we check the vocabulary, I have a question for you. Um, in which companies uh, have they given you surveys? In which company have they given you surveys? In which companies have they given you surveys? In which company? As a, you as a customer, okay? You as a customer, como, como clientes. Where do they normally give surveys? Donde normalmente dan encuestas o pasan encuestas? Where telephone. do they normally? Sorry? Tel telephone company. Okay, telephone, telephone companies. That's right. Telephone companies or cell phone companies. What else? Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Yeah, at Pizza Hut. The drugstore. Okay, at the drugstores sometimes. Where else? Donde más? Where else? Where else? Bank. At the bank, sometimes they give you surveys at the bank. Where else? Only, only in those places. Hey, hey. Sorry. 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 Can you repeat? Ministerio de Hacienda. I don't Adminis know. All right. I'm Ministerio de Hacienda. That's right. Okay. Very good. That's excellent. Johnny? At the university. At the universities. They pass your surveys at the universities. Very good. So different places, right? Different uh, companies, okay? Very good. Now let's see um, item number one. Item number one. How satisfied are you with this product? Very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, and very dissatisfied, okay? So uh, what does the question mean? ¿Qué quiere decir esta pregunta? What does the question mean? How satisfied are you with this product? What is the meaning of this question? ¿Qué tan satisfecho estás con ese producto? Mm -hmm. Exactly, okay. ¿Qué tan satisfecho estás con este producto? O ¿Cuán satisfecho estás con este producto? How satisfied? Very good. Uh, very satisfied. It's easy, right? Very is easy. Satisfied, dissatisfied. What is dissatisfied? Dissatisfecho. Dissatisfecho and very dissatisfied. Muy dissatisfecho, right? Okay, very good. Let's see item number two. Rate your opinion about these products, about the product quality. What does it mean? ¿Qué quiere decir? Precio. Okay. Sorry? ¿Cuál es tu opinión acerca del, de la calidad del precio del producto? Okay, da tu opinión acerca de la calidad del producto, all right? O tu opinión acerca de la calidad del producto. That's right. Well, ajá, da tu opinión sería en este caso. Give your opinion. High quality. What is high quality? Alta calidad o de yeah. buena exactly. calidad. Exactly. De alta calidad. Good. High quality is de alta calidad. Good quality is de buena calidad, okay? High quality de alta calidad. Excelente. Okay. Uh, average. What is average? Promedio. Promedio. Yeah, yeah. Okay, exactly. Okay. Calidad. Calidad. Promedio. Okay. Good. Uh, low quality. Baja calidad. Baja, baja calidad. Baja. baja calidad. And very low quality. Muy baja calidad. Muy baja. Bien, Muy baja calidad. Exactly. So really, that means really bad, right? Good. Uh, let's see item number three. The value of this product is what is value? Valor. El valor. El valor producto. de este producto uh -huh. es excellent, good, poor. What is poor? Pobre. 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 Or pobre. very poor? Muy pobre. Sí, no, 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 no. Muy pobre. Muy malo. Muy pobre. Right? Very good. Uh, let's see the next one. Will you continue using this product? What is the meaning of this question? Que si seguirías usando nuestros productos. That's right. Seguirás usando nuestros productos. Will you continue? Will is like for future, right? Will is for future, okay? Uh, seguirás. Seguirás usando este producto? Will you continue using this product? Yes or no is easy, right? Okay, that's excellent. So this is a survey, right? Uh, for a customer's experience with our product. Uh, do you pass surveys in your workplaces? Do you pass surveys in your workplaces? Yes or no? no? No. No, you don't pass surveys in your workplaces. Nobody? Nobody here? 
los que, los que venden servicios, do you pass surveys? ¿Pasan encuestas? Do you pass surveys? No, never. Nobody. Yes. Ah, Irma does, all right? Irma's company passes surveys. Very good. Who else? ¿Quién más? Who else? Only Irma's company. Yes, at the bank. At the bank. Cristina, right? Very good. That's excellent. En Carla en María. Caso, pues, yes, ¿En Wendy? qué área sería? ¿En Sorry? qué área sería? Porque la Curazao manda también encuesta. Any, eh, sir, any area. Any area. Ah, ok. Yeah, any area. Ok, so you work at la Curazao, right, Wendy? Hola. You work at la Curazao. Sí. Ah, then you pass surveys. Entonces ustedes sí pasan encuestas. You pass surveys. Sí. Yes, all right, excellent. That's very good. Who else? Who else? No one else? Okay, okay, thank you very much. Okay, now let's continue with the next activity. Uh, in the next activity is about the same uh, survey. Es acerca de la misma encuesta. It's about the same survey, okay? In activity three, you have some questions, okay? Question number one is, how was the customer's experience? Number two, is the product a good one or a bad one? Number three, think about the possible problems with the customer had with the product, okay? Based on the survey, answer the three questions. Based on the survey, answer the three questions, okay? Go ahead. Write the answers, please. Escribe las respuestas. Write the answers, please. Based on the survey, basados en la encuesta. Esto está en la página, it's on page number 23. It's on page number In the last question, you have to predict a little bit, okay? En la última pregunta, tienen que predecir o inferir un poquito. To predict or infer a little bit, okay?
You ready or you need more time? Need more time? Necesitan un poquito más de tiempo? Need more time? Ready. Carlos is ready. And the others, are you ready? I can see Hector and Ulises are still writing. <laughs> yes, right. Okay, no problem. It's okay. Rafa too. Mauricio, are you ready? Not to share. No, okay. Yes. All right. I'll give you two more minutes. Le daré dos minutos más. I'll give you two more minutes to finish. Okay, and then we share. Y luego compartimos, and then we share. Hola, Hazel, ¿está conectada? Hola, Hazel. Hello, Hazel. Well, she is connected, but she doesn't respond, I think. Okay. <laughs> Teacher. Yes, tell me. How do you say producto defectuoso o en mal estado? Producto defectuoso o en mal estado? Pero mal estado de. de... Eh, no sé, de... porque estoy incluyendo la pregunta 3. Sí, sí, ¿qué clase de producto es primero? Asunto. Asun no, no lo sé, asumiendo que la experiencia fue los posibles problemas del, del, eh, del cliente con el producto. No sé, es el producto. Maybe, maybe if, it's, o... if it's a machine or maybe if it's a machine, you can say defective or, or faulty. A faulty product. Defective. Faulty is, let me write it for you here. Faulty. Let me write it. Aquí lo voy a escribir en la pantalla. Faulty. You can say faulty or you can say defective if you want, okay? Faulty or defective? Yeah. Faulty or defective? Okay, any of them? Thanks. Cualquiera de las dos. Any of them? Thanks, teacher. All right, no problem. Esta es letra U. This is... Oh, my goodness. Let me erase it. I think it's better. Parece una V. It's like a V. All right. Let me do it again. Yeah, faulty.
Okay, uh, we have three questions, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, question number one. How was the customer's experience? Who has the answer? Quien tiene la respuesta? How was the customer's experience? Let me see. Carla Maria. Is dissatisfied. Dissatisfying. Okay, remember when we describe the experience, we say dissatisfying, okay? Not dissatisfied, okay? Dissatisfied is the customer. Dissatisfying is the experience, okay? So, Carla, how was the experience of the customer? Dissatisfying. Dissatisfying, excellent, okay? Thank you, Carla. Number two, uh, is the product a good quality or a bad one? Number two. Is the product a good quality or a bad one? Or a bad good one, one or a bad one? A bad one, is a bad one, that's right, is a bad one. And now let's see, number three is a little bit more complicated because we don't have the answer directly. Number three, uh, think about the possible problems the customer had with the, with the product. What do you think are the problems the customer had with the product? Very low quality. Okay, the product was very low quality, what else? Based on the survey, he bought a low quality product. That's and right. He bought a low quality product and? And it probably went bankrupt fast. That's right. Okay. That's right. Okay. That's right. Okay. Uh, so it got broken really fast, maybe. Good. Yeah. Um, good. Mao, you want to participate? Um, you warm up, you warm up ship is poor. Okay, that's right. It was really poor. I mean, the, the, it says the, the value of the product was really poor. Okay, that's excellent. Uh, what else was poor? What else? Come on, what else? Rafa? Um, the fabric is bad quality. The what? The fabric is bad quality. The fabric was low quality, maybe? Okay, that's very good. Rafa? You want to participate, yes, Rafa? You want to participate? And uh, 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 number three. Number we are yeah we are in number three. Uh, very the sacrifices which the smell and taste or all the product at breakfast. All right, he was dissatisfied uh, or he or she was dissatisfied with the product. Okay, very good. Okay, I uh, think thank you, uh, Hector. You wanted to participate. Yes, teacher. All right, go ahead. The, pr the product broke the transport. Can you repeat? The product broke, broke in the transport. Ah, that's right. The product, broke. maybe the product, yeah. The product uh, was broken when it was being transported. Broke. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, very good. So we can have different answers for this one, right? Good. <clears throat> Now for the next part, I want you to pay attention because I will explain something important, okay? So listen, uh, for the next part, we have the use of uh, may and might. Have you ever used them in English? Alguna vez los han usado en inglés? El may y el might? El may y el might, sorry, may and might? Have you used them in English before? Los han usado? No, never? May and might? No. No. No, all right. So the first thing to know, lo primero que debemos saber es que estos verbos se llaman modal verbs. Se llaman verbos modales, modal verbs, okay? May and might are modal verbs. That's the first thing to know, all right? Y cuando usamos verbos modales, no usamos el to. We don't use to. That's impossible to use to with, uh, with modal verbs, except with out, but that's another business, okay? Modal verbs. So in this case, we have may and we have might, okay? And let me repeat for you. Siempre usamos un verbo después del may y el might y no usamos el tú. El tú no es necesario. I don't say, for example, I may to ask or she might to want. No, that's, in, that's incorrect. Eso es incorrecto, that's incorrect. So I omit to, no uso el tú. I omit to. And the second thing to know, la segunda cosa que debemos saber, the second thing to know is that may and might are used for possibility. May and might are used for possibility when something is possible, all right? For example, okay? For example, number one, el número uno. 
uh, using May. Can you read it, please, Hector? I may ask for our fund. Exactly. I may ask for a refund. Okay. Refund. Podría pedir un reembolso. I may ask. It's a possibility, right? It's a possibility. Okay. Thank you, Hector. Uh, Rafa, number two, using May. Rafa, number two. You may buy a, a different store. Excellent. So, tú podrías comprar en una tienda diferente. You may buy at a different store. It's a possibility, sí. right? It's a possibility, uh -huh. okay? Now, let's see the negative. Okay, let's listen to Maho. Number three, negative. <clears throat> Using May. They may not provide a good service. All right. It's possible that they might not provide a good service, right? Ellos no podrían proveer un buen servicio. So that's very possible, okay? Remember, it's for possibility. Thank you, Mahu. Now let's continue with the next one, okay? Now let's listen to Lucy. Number four. It may not reach your expectations. That's right. It's very likely, okay? It's muy posible. It's very likely. It may, it may not reach your expectations talking about a product right okay and let's see uh using might vamos ahora al might let's go to might uh let's see example number one carlo elenilson sorry she might she might want to respond on those units exactly okay thank you elenilson ella podría querer un reembolso de esos productos okay on those units on esas unidades Thank you, Ellen Wilson. Carlos, number two. They might complain about the service. Good. Oh, aquí quiero hacer una corrección. El verbo es complain, sin T. Okay? Esa T no va, hay un error. Okay, they, they might complain about the service. Thank you, uh, Carlos. Ellos podrían quejarse del servicio. Okay? Uh, they might complain about the service. Okay, Mauricio. Read the next, please. We might. We might ask to tell with the supervisor. All right. Nosotros podríamos eh, preguntar si podemos hablar con el supervisor. Bernardo, pero nos acaba de decir que no usamos el tú. Exactly. No usamos el tú, pero después del might. Ok. Pero si hay un verbo que es ask y hay otro verbo, sí lo pueden usar. Como en este caso de acá, miren. El verbo es ask. Pero queremos usar otro verbo, entonces sí le ponemos el tú. No, no vamos a usar el tú, pero después del might y el may. All right. Just to clarify. Solo para aclarar. Just to clarify. All right. And the last example. Uh, let's listen to Santos. <clears throat> Santos, can you read the last example, please? No, teacher, estaba... estaba eh... No estaba muy atento en este momento a la, a, la, a la clase porque estaba en otra situación ahorita. Pero... Ok, no problem. It's ok, don't worry, don't worry. Ulises, can you read the example, please? He might not. He might not buy chair again. It's a possibility, right? Because maybe she got a bad he got a bad service. Ok, él no podría comprar aquí nuevamente. He might not buy here again. So to make the negative, we put not. Ok, he may not or he might not, all right? Uh, in general terms, good. Then what is the difference between may and might? It's the same, the same purpose. El mismo propósito hablar de una posibilidad, to talk about a possibility. And remember, we don't use to after may or might. Después de may or might, no usamos el to. Si usamos otro verbo, sí, verdad? But after may or might, we don't use to, all right? For example, we don't say, I made to ask, or she might to want. No, that's incorrect. Or they might to complain, or we might to ask. No, that's incorrect. All right? Good. Any question? Alguna pregunta? Any question? Yes, teacher. Okay, Majo, go ahead. And the, what is different in the, in the may and the can? Uh, for example, I may ask for a refund. And I can ask for a refund. Can is for offers. Can is for offers, Maho. 
and may and might are for possibilities. I can help you. I can help you, le estoy diciendo, yo puedo ayudarte, es un, me estoy ofreciendo, it's an offer, all right? Can is for offers and okay. may and might are for possibilities. Yes. Entonces una posibilidad y una de hacer. That's right. No, can es para, para ofrecerme o que me ofrezco para ayudar en algo. I offer my, myself to help with something. I can help you, for example. I can help you. Yo puedo ayudarte, me estoy ofreciendo. I am offering my help. Okay? Y estas dos son para posibilidad. May and might are for possibility. When something is possible. Sure. Yes? What is the more polite? I mean, between may and might. Yeah. Mm, I think they're the same. Talking about politeness, they're the same. It's the same, basically. <clears throat> I see no... Sir. Sorry? Uh, no, I... Answer. Well, uh, actually, okay. sorry. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. So I see no big difference between may and might about politeness, all right? It's the same. If I say may or might, is they have the same uh, probability or possibility. Mm -hmm. Or the same politeness, okay? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Can I use uh, may and might for question? Yes. May I go with you? But that's an, but when we use them for questions, it's a different story. It's different. The purpose is different. It's not for possibility. All right? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. For example, you say, when you say, I may go to the restrooms, all right, it's different, right? Okay, it's to look formal and to ask for permissions or for permissions, okay? So in questions, it's different. Okay, any question? Any other question? Or you can use them in questions here. But here the case is not, is not to use questions, right? Aquí el caso no es usar preguntas, pero yo podría decir, por ejemplo, hablando con un, con un agente, okay? Talking with an agent. May I ask for a refund? It's okay, okay? Podría pedir un reembolso? It's a, I'm asking if it's possible. It's okay. Mm -hmm. We can use them in questions too. So any other question? No? Okay, very good. Now it's time, it's time for you to work. Activity number five, page number 24. Página 24, page number 24. Okay, create sentences using these words. With may or might, as you wish, las que quieran usar, may or might, okay? Write a complement when needed, okay? Si es necesario, voy a escribir un complemento. Es decir, otra oración como dando una, una razón or putting extra information, okay? For example, number one, ¿cómo le podría quedar la número uno? He might not be satisfied. Uh -huh. He may not be satisfied. ¿Le podemos poner otra oración como complemento? Yes, right? You can say maybe he may not be satisfied. Period. Punto. The product was low quality. El producto era de baja calidad. The product was low quality. Maybe you can say. Okay. We can put another sentence as a complement. Como complemento podemos poner una razón. The reason why he was not satisfied, okay? No van a usar el be directamente. Van a usar el be ya conjugado, ¿verdad? Que en pasado puede ser was or where. En pasado el be puede ser was or, or where, okay? Y en presente puede ser um, is, or are, okay? En presente puede ser am, is, or are. Y en pasado puede ser, oh, sorry. Aquí me equivoqué en el where. I'm sorry. Is where is with letter E, okay? Where? Oh, sorry. Again, mistake here. Oh, my goodness. What's going on? ¿Qué me está pasando? What's going on here? It's okay here. El internet, teacher. <laughs> yeah, es el internet. That's the problem. Aquí era was, le dije, ¿verdad? En vez de where, okay? Puede ser where 
or was, okay? In past, en pasado el verbo to be is was or where, and in present is am, is, or are, okay? For example, he was, she was, or it was, or I was. We were, they were, or you were, okay? I am, he is, she is, it is. We are, you are, and they are, okay? For the verb to be. Oh, disculpen, nos estoy confundiendo aquí. Oh, my goodness. Lo siento. I'm sorry. Lo estoy confundiendo aquí. Oh, my goodness. El internet, como dijeron, de internet, así es. Como estamos usando, había perdido de vista que estamos usando el may y el might, ¿ok? El may y el might. Así que el be queda lo mismo, ¿ok? May be or may not be, ¿ok? Porque ya se está usando como verbo principal, perdón. I'm sorry. Ok, como estamos usando el may y el might, le, pues, le dejamos el be. Ok. Si queremos poner una oración extra, es que a veces esa oración extra o el complemento si va con el was o el where, o el am, el is o el are. Ok. For example. Eh, may... eh, ah, ajá, for, tengo un ejemplo. Adelante. No sé si estás en la 3. The, the service may not be excellent. Ajá. Because the place is always full. Exactly. Ahí es que usamos. Quizás no, ahí era la confusión. Ahí es que no me di a entender. En la segunda opción, en el complemento que pueden usar el, el is, el am, el is, or, or are, o el was, o el where. ¿Ok? It's okay. Está bien el ejemplo. The example, it's okay. Si Hazel está conectada, ese día le corresponde la sesión 1-1 a Hazel. Recuerden que mañana... ¿Sí está conectada? Yes, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Thank you. Y recuerden que mañana no tenemos clases, no se vayan a conectar, ¿ok? Vayan a celebrarle a sus esposas o las esposas, las madres de familia que les vayan a celebrar sus esposos o sus hijos, ¿ok? Tomorrow we have no classes. Ma mañana no hay clases. Tomorrow we have no classes, ¿ok? Y, en, y ya en avanzado, Happy Mother's Day. Feliz Día de la Madre a las mamás. Happy Mother's Day to, to moms here. Thank you. All right.
I in number six, you need to put a complement, right? Because uh, your sentence will be Amanda may not use, but may not use what? Okay. So you need to put something else, some, something there in number six. Amanda may not use the new laptop, for example. I don't know. <laughs> The same in number four, right? You may or might recommend what? Okay. The new machine, the new product. I don't know. Uh, that is on page number 24. Esta está en la página 24, okay? So I just need to pass the attendance. Solo necesito pasar asistencia. I just need to pass the attendance, okay? So the activity is on page 24. Si van a seguir trabajando ahorita, está en la página 24. It's on page 24. Okay, Carlos? Present. Cristina? Present. Daniel? Present. Doris? Present. Elenison? Present. Kelsey? Present teacher. Hazel? Present teacher. Hector? Present teacher. Irma? Present teacher. Javier? Johnny? Present. Jose Mauricio? Present teacher. Lucy? Present. Majo. Present teacher. Rafa. Present teacher. Santos. Present teacher. Ulises. Present teacher. All right. Wendy. I am here. Very good. Jessica. All right. Carla Maria. Present. And Carla Raquel. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, did you finish? Terminaron todos? Podemos compartir? Can you share? So we finish the activity and then we go. Y luego nos vamos. Can you share?
Yes, no. Okay, let's see. Who has number one? Quien tiene la número uno? Who has number one? Vamos rápido, entre más rápido, más rápido nos vamos. The faster, the better. Carlos, okay, number, number one. one. Okay, uh, he might not be satisfied. The product, it was bad quality. Good, he might not be satisfied. The product was low quality. Excellent, Carlos. Who uh, has number two? And the warranty may be longer because you pay for the warranty. Good. The warranty may be longer because you pay for it. Okay, you can say for it. Para no decir warranty again, all right? Okay. Para no decir otra okay. warranty. Because you okay. paid for it. Okay. Excellent. Uh, who has number three? Who has number three? The service might not be excellent in the restaurant. Oh, good. The service might not be excellent in the restaurant. Very good. That's amazing. Number four. I may recommend you more exercise. Good. Oh, my goodness. Ya me vieron gordito, right? <laughs> they, might, they might recommend me more exercise. Okay, thank you very much. That's very good. Number five. Who has number five? Number five. The waiter. Mauricio. The waiter might be in hurry. <laughs> the waiter may be in a hurry, like running, okay, in a rush, okay. Debe andar de pizza. The waiter might be in a hurry, okay, good. Maybe you can say because he has many clients, porque tiene muchos clientes, because he has many clients. The waiter may be in a hurry or might be in a hurry because he has many clients in this moment. Tiene muchos clientes ahorita, okay. And the last one, number six, Amanda. Amanda might not use these jeans. That's hair, her jeans, okay, because, hair. Because they are tight. Good, okay, Amanda might not use her jeans because they are too tight. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Very good, excellent, muy bien. Ya no quiero quitarles tiempo. Yo sé que les he quitado demasiado tiempo estos días. All right. Así que, bueno, vamos a terminar acá la clase. Recuerden, mañana no hay clases. Tomorrow we have no clases. Para las madres otra vez, feliz día de la madre. Disfruten muchísimo. Y les veo el miércoles primero Dios. ¿Ok? Solo una le contestó Tisha. Thank you, Tisha. Solo una es madre. Es que estaban trabajando Uy, todas, por eso solo una contestó. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, Tisha. Ok, goodbye Mucho and good night. Bye. 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 Thank you, Tisha. Tisha, goodbye. Bye bye, good night. Teacher, you write on my, my, my WhatsApp for me, ok? Perfect. Ok, Hazel, solo déjeme que Ulises se quedó conectado por acá. Lo vamos a poner en espera. Ok, Hazel. Ok, sure. solo, solo antes de que, de que, de que, de, 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 de las dudas y todo eso. Um, let me see something, quiero ver algo nada más. Respecto a la asistencia. Fíjese que a veces... El internet está bien malo y estoy conectada desde la compu. Y la compu a veces no tengo audio. Entonces, solo que quizás no es cripto en el chat. Sí, sí, quizás no ha, no, no, no ha como justificado, tal vez. Ajá, sí, sí, pero no, sí, sí. Yo estoy bien pendiente de si están participando, que a veces les pregunto, a veces no están, a veces están conectados, pero eh, normalmente a veces, a veces cuando le pregunto no está, está conectada, pero no está como en la clase. Ajá, por eso le hago la pregunta, ¿verdad? Sí, a veces soy desde la compu y a veces tengo los audífonos porque como son audífonos especiales para poder hablar. Uh -huh. Entonces, por eso, y como tengo otra hermana que también recibe clases. Oh, entiendo, entiendo. Ok, perfecto. Adelante, si hay dudas entonces acerca de las clases o de algún tema en específico. 
Fíjese que solo de lo que acaba de hablar, la diferencia entre my y might, no ah, sé, sí. no le comprendí. En realidad no hay diferencia entre el may y el might, ¿ok? Uh, los dos se usan en este, en este contexto que lo estamos utilizando, los dos se usan para, para posibilidad, ¿ok? Ese es el objetivo, posibilidad eh, de algo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo digo, um, she may be happy, es una probabilidad, es una posibilidad, perdón, que ella, ella podría estar feliz, no lo sé, ¿ok? She may be happy, ¿eh? o porque tal vez la veo medio sonriente, ¿ok? So, el may y el might se usan para posibilidad. Y cuando lo uso en negativo, may not o might not, es para decir que algo no es una, que no es posible, is not possible, ¿ok? Pensé que era como en otros que uno es obligación o algo así. No, 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 en este caso es para posibilidad, ese es el contexto acá. Posibilidad, posibilidad. El where, cualquier verbo be, es where. No importa lo que sea, am, is, o are. Sí, es que el, el be ya conjugado, cuando se usa en presente, es el am, el is, o el are. Y cuando se usa en pasado, es was, o where. Depende del pronombre o el sujeto que estemos usando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ya conjugado. Pero en este caso, si usamos el may o el might, siempre se pone el be. She might be happy, por ejemplo. Ella podría estar feliz. She might be happy. Pero ya cuando lo usamos solito, sin may o sin might, el be se convierte en am, en is, or, o en are, o en was, o en were, en pasado. Por ejemplo, sí. pues di, digo, con el I voy a usar el am, I am. Con el he, she, it, uso el is. He is, she is, it is. Con el we, we are, you are, they are, por ejemplo. ¿okay? Por eso le digo que es am, is, or are, ya conjugado en presente. Uh -huh. Y en pasado es was or were. Por ejemplo, I was, he was, she was, it was. Él era, ella era o ella fue. ¿okay? Y luego, uh, para los plurales, you were, they were y we were. ¿okay? En pasado, nosotros fuimos o ellos fueron. All right. Uh -huh. O ellos eran. ¿Ya? Ya. Con los demás creo que soy bien. Solo eso era lo que tenía duda. Ok. Muy bien, entonces. Si no hay otra duda, pues. ¿Y qué ha dado usted? ¿Solo? ¿Perdón? Solo eso era lo que tenía duda porque no había captado si era, si tenía diferencia entre el may y el may. Mm, ok, perfecto. Pero sí se comprende la explicación, ¿verdad? Sí, así es, teacher. Ah, ok, perfecto, entonces. Perfect. Thanks, teacher. No problem, my pleasure. Do you have children? No. Ah, no children. I was about to say happy Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> madre en potencia, ¿cómo se dice? <laughs> madre, madre en potencia. <laughs> All right. Ok, entonces, Hazel. Thank you for staying uh, to the session. Gracias okay. por quedarse la sesión uno a uno entonces. Thanks. All Good right. night. Good night.